Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to study chapter number 4, Multiplication and Division. From this chapter, I have already completed the practice set. The link of those videos have been given in the description box. Or you all can go and even search the playlist or a separate video. You will be getting it after searching it. So in previous video, that is yesterday, I have already explained how to multiply. Okay, in an easiest way, separately I have shown how you all have to multiply to get the answer for multiplying a three digit number okay so this method i have already explained so today i will be explaining y'all how to divide okay now division of a bigger number gets difficult when there is a two digit number okay so for that 25 tables we know isn't it but 32 table it is difficult to remember so what we have to do in order to divide such a big number so that uh, easy trick I am going to show you and those who do have not understood how to divide it, this video is for them. So I will write the number first. That is 4254 4, divided with 25. Now over here many of y'all, let the camera focus here. Yeah. Many of y'all are going to directly start division. But no, first what you all have to do is you all have to write the multiplicative table of 25 first. So 25 ones are 25. So when you write the table and keep it ready, that means it will be easy for y'all to divide. Okay. So 25 fours are, if y'all know the table orally, it's well and good. But if y'all don't know, y'all can write it down over here. In exam also you all can do the same thing. So I will write the table till 7 that is 175. Okay so if I need it further then only I will write it or till 7 it's more than enough. Now what you all have to do is simple division. Now over here you all have to keep few things in mind that I am going to tell you all. 42, 54. Okay so these are the numbers. So when there is a two digit number that means you all have to first take two digits only you all cannot take one digit isn't it you all cannot take one digit so what you all have to do is 25 zeros is zero so four again it will be carry forwarded isn't it four minus zero is going to be four now you all have to carry two over here now in 25 table 42 is not going to come so which is the smallest number okay other than 42 which is going to be the smallest number that is 25 so 25 into 1 is going to be 25 so this writing of table helps you all finding the smallest number because over here the numbers are bigger therefore it becomes difficult for you all to see which number is smaller than 42. Okay if you all haven't wrote the table then again and again you have to keep on saying the table of 25. So 25 ones are 25 simply subtract it. Okay so we will borrow 1 from 4 and this will become 3. Now after 5 you all have to count till 12. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is going to be 7. 3 minus 2 is going to be 1. Now 17 is not going to come in 25 stable. So what we have to do, we have to carry 5 down over here. Now 175 is the answer. Now does 175 comes in 25 stable? Yes, it does. See, writing of the table has helped us to find the number directly. So 25 7s are 175. So 7s are 175. So 0, 0, 0 and then you all have to take this 4 over here. Now in 25 stable again 4 is not going to come and there is no other number given. We have to add a decimal point but we don't have to add decimal point over here because we are doing simple division over here we are not finding the answer in decimal form if 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 you all want to find a, a answer in the decimal form you all can carry forward the division but in this section we have to only write the uh, answer where we are going to get the remainder and quotient okay so remainder is going to be 4 so for that first you all have to write 25 zeros are zeros and 4 over here 
so what is going to be your quotient quotient is going to be 170 and a remainder is 4 this is your quotient and this is your remainder I hope this question is getting understood by everyone how you all have to divide. One more sum I am going to explain you all for the students those who have still not got it because it's not easy for everyone. Okay. Therefore I have made this video. So the next sum is 9783 divided with 32. So again what we have to do as I said you have to write the table of 32 first. So 32 into 1 is going to be 32, 32 into 2 is going to be, now I will show you how to get the answer directly, you all don't have to multiply. 2 2's are 4, 2 3's are 6, again 32 into 3, 3 2's are 6, 3 3's are 9. Is it easy? 32 into 4. 4 2's are 8, 4 3's are 12, 32 into 5, this is the easiest way to write the table, Two, 5 2's are 10, so 0 over here, 1 you all have to carry, 5 3's are 15 plus 1, 16, 32 into 6, 6 2's are 12, 6 3's are 18, 1, 19. Okay, so till 6 only we will write it. If we need it further, then only we will carry forward the division, uh, writing the table, not division. Now we will divide the same number over here. Now as I said, taking one number is not possible because already two digits are already there. So in the first example, I have shown you all, you all can take a 0 or what you all can do is directly take two numbers at a time. Okay. So, 97's smaller number is going to be 96, isn't it? So, 32 3's are 96. So, so, 32 3's are 96. Now, what step I have skipped over here in the textbook? They have already given. See, 32 zeros are 0. Then they have carried 9. Then they have taken 7. But what I have done is I have directly taken two digits at a time. So this also you all can do and this method also you all can do. No problem. So this is going to be 1. Then carry this 8 over here. <coughs> now 18 is not going to come because the smallest number is going to be 32. 18 is not there. So what we have to do? Zeros are 0. So 1, 8 and then you all have to take 3. Now which is going to be the smallest number then 183 is going to be 160. So 32 fives are 32 fives are 160. So this is going to be 3. 8 minus uh, 6 is going to be 2. Now as I said we don't have to find a decimal point answer. So your here is your quotient and a remainder. So write it down in the form of quotient. That is 305 and remainder 23. I hope this uh, division method is clear to everyone because many of you all were finding it difficult how you all have to divide. When actually I have already explained it in the video. But if still you all are finding anything difficult do let me know in the comment section. I will make a separate video again explaining you all a different way of division. See you in the next video. Till then take care. Bye.